The 1977 World Hockey Association All-Star Game returned to the classic form of East versus West after a one-shot attempt of having the stars from Canada take on those from the United States. This one featured some great performances in Hartford, Connecticut, home of the Whalers, especially from an unknown George Lyle right up to the superstar legend J.C. Trombley. Most All-Star Games have very little intensity, but they do have some good storylines, and this one did. The starting goaltender from the West team, Lou Lavasseur, had to pay his own way to get to Hartford. He had just been traded by the Minnesota Fighting Saints to the Edmonton Oilers. How did old Lou do? Well, he was the MVP for Team West. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Hartford Civic Center and the fifth annual World Hockey Association All-Star Game, hosted by your New England Whalers. <laughs> Now let's meet the 1977 World Hockey Association West Division All-Stars. From the Winnipeg Jets, number one, Joe Daly. Described by many as one of the ten best defensemen in professional hockey. From the Winnipeg Jets, number two, Tommy Bergman. Voted the WHA's Outstanding Defenseman for the 1975-76 season okay. and the MVP in last year's you know. All-Star Game from the San Diego Mariners, number three, Paul Schmeer. <laughs> Always a top-scoring defenseman, a rugged performer making his second All-Star appearance. From the San Diego Mariners, number four, Kevin Morrison. A defenseman's defenseman, a solid performer playing in his first All-Star game. From the Edmonton Oilers, number five, Barry Wilkin. <laughs> the foundation of the Arrows defense, second time as an All-Star. From the Houston Arrows, number six, Paul Popeil. The all-time WHA scoring leader with over 500 total points playing in his fifth All-Star game. From the San Diego Mariners, number seven, Andre Lacroix. <laughs> the United States' most valuable player in the recent Canada Cup Series. The highest scoring U.S.-born player in the major leagues from the Phoenix Roadrunners, number eight, Robbie Fatora. <laughs> One of hockey's all-time greats, the most prolific scorer in the history of the game, from the Winnipeg Jets, number nine, Bobby Hall. <laughs> the elder statesman of the game, this man leads professional hockey in every offensive category. From the Houston Arrows, number nine, Gordy Howe. One of the WHA's surest goal scorers playing in his second All-Star game. From the San Diego Mariners, number 10, Norm Ferguson. A WHA veteran, record-setting right winger from the Calgary Cowboys, number 11, Danny Lawson. The most valuable player in last year's AFCO Cup playoffs playing in his second All-Star game from the Winnipeg Jets, number 14, Ulf Nielsen. A 100-point man the past two seasons, a developing superstar from the Winnipeg Jets, number 15, Anders Hedberg. A top goal scorer and penalty killer, one of the strongest forwards in the league, playing in his first All-Star game. From the Houston Arrows, number 16, Cam Connor. One of the quiet, efficient forwards of the league, 
called the Invisible Man by his teammates and playing in his first All-Star game. From the Phoenix Roadrunners, number 19, Del Hall. An aggressive forward who scores the big goals, dubbed Willie the Wisp by his teammates. From the Winnipeg Jets, number 20, Willie Lindstrom. A former forward, now one of the best defensemen in the WHA. From the Calgary Cowboys, number 21, Paul Terbenci. A second year man in the WHA, an American born star playing in his first All Star game. From the San Diego Mariners, number 22, Joe Norris. The winning goaltender in the only West Division All Star victory to date. From the Houston Arrows, number 30, Wayne Rutledge. The coach of the West Division All-Stars is the coach of the defending AVCO Cup champion, Winnipeg Jets, Bobby Crown. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the 1977 World Hockey Association West Division All-Stars. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the East Division All-Stars. One of the all-time great defensemen, holder of the WHA record for most points by a defenseman, from the Quebec Nordiques, number three, J.C. Tremblay. One of the steadiest blue liners in pro hockey, this man received the most votes of any defenseman in this year's All-Star Balloting. From the Cincinnati Stingers, number four, Ron Plum. <laughs> the youngest player in tonight's All-Star game and one of the best young defensemen in hockey. From the New England Whalers, number five, Gordy Weather. An excellent playmaker, a hard worker in the corners, and a second-time All-Star. From the Indianapolis Racers, number six, Michel Parizeau. A five-year Major League veteran, among the league's top ten scorers all season. The captain of the Indianapolis Racers, number seven, Hugh Harris. Last year's WHA scoring champion and most valuable player in the WHA from the Quebec Nordiques, number eight, Mark Tardy. The most valuable player in last year's All-Star game in Cleveland with three goals, currently battling for the WHA scoring lead. From the Quebec Nordiques, number nine, Rial Cloutier. A very aggressive defenseman and a solid blue line performer. From the Cincinnati Stingers, number 10, John Hughes. <laughs> the youngest team captain in professional sports. Last year's WHA Rookie of the Year. From the Birmingham Bulls, number 11, Mark Napier. <laughs> Another of professional hockey's all-time great defensemen, playing in his fourth WHA All-Star game. From the Indianapolis Racers, number 12, Pat Stapleton. <laughs> On the way to his best season ever in the WHA, playing in his first All-Star game. From the Indianapolis Racers, number 15, Blair McDonald. A 
top candidate for WHA Rookie of the Year honors, the leading goal scorer of the New England Whalers, number 16, George Lyle. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, one of the flashiest wingers in the WHA, a top goal scorer playing in his first All-Star game from the Cincinnati Stingers, number 17, Dennis Sobchuk. Currently enjoying his best season ever in the WHA, one of the league's outstanding centers from the Cincinnati Stingers, number 18, Rich Leduc. A tiny package of dynamite off to his best start ever. From the New England Whalers, number 20, Mike Rogers. Another of the fabulous Frenchmen, a high-scoring center from the Quebec Nordiques, number 21, Serge Bernier. Another of the flying Swedes was attained stardom in the WHA, a smooth skating defenseman from the New England Whalers, number 22, Tommy Abrahamson. Another perennial all-star with a long list of impressive Major League Hockey credits. From the New England Whalers, number 23, Ralph Backstrom. <laughs> Currently the leading goaltender in the Eastern Division, a first-time All-Star, late of the Minnesota Fighting Saints, now with the Edmonton Oilers, number 30, Louis Levasseur. one of the smallest goaltenders in the pros, and one of the most exciting to watch, playing in his first All-Star game from the Birmingham Bulls, number 35, John Garrett. <laughs> the coach of the East Division All-Stars is the coach of last season's Eastern Division champions, Indianapolis Racers, Jacques Demers. Ladies and gentlemen, your 1977 World Hockey Association East Division All-Stars. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to introduce you to some of the top officials of the World Hockey Association. First, the chairman of the board and chief executive officer of the WHA, Mr. Ben Hatskin. And now the president of the World Hockey Association, Mr. Bill McFarlane. The vice president of the WHA and managing general partner of the host team, Mr. Howard Baldwin. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of the Canadian and American National Anthems.
conduct the ceremonial face-off, representing youth hockey throughout the greater Hartford area, a member of the Simsbury Whalers of the Might Division, eight-year-old Kevin Walsh. <laughs> representing the West Division All-Stars, Captain Bobby Hall. And representing the East Division All-Stars, Captain Pat Stapleton. opening ceremonies, players getting a chance to stretch their legs while they uh, clear the mats and the cords and the cameras from the ice, and we'll be set to play hockey in just a moment. Quite a batch of talent down on the ice here at the Hartford Civic Center tonight. Oh, there certainly is, Bill. I think uh, when you have a Bobby Hall or Gordy Howe on one team, uh, you have an explosive line. I think Bobby Crom mentioned to several of us this morning that at one time during the game, he may play both Gordy and Bobby together between a centerman named Lacroix or something. I couldn't isn't, catch it. Isn't yeah. that too bad? They don't oh, have a lot of talent. Not too much talent out there. The Racers uh, have a contingent of four players. The New England Whalers have five on the Eastern Division All-Star team. Quebec has four players. Uh, they have the top scoring line in the league on the Eastern Division All-Stars. Cloutier, who had three goals last year in the All-Star game, was the most valuable player with Mark Tardif and, of course, Serge Bernier. Uh, they are playing uh, extremely well, not uh, always as a unit, but uh, playing well as a team. Quebec in first place in in the east, and Winnipeg, of course, has uh, uh, the lead in the western division, or San Diego has the lead, Winnipeg trying to catch them, the Jets are the defending champions, but I think it's a, it's a game that they're going to throw caution to the wind. I don't think you're going to see any real close checking uh, game here tonight. Well, I think you're probably right. We've only got about 8,000 goals scored between all these people. Bob, uh, one of the topics that has been discussed in the press uh, around the country and, uh, well, around North America in uh, both the United States and Canada, the Minnesota Fighting Saints. Well, today they officially have decided to voluntarily terminate their franchise unless a bona fide buyer completes a purchase uh, transaction of the franchise by next Thursday, which is only two days away. So the uh, WHA is now down to 11 teams. The Minnesota Fighting Saints players, are some have been sold, some will become free agents unless that transaction goes through. Uh, a lot of reaction to that around the hockey world. Yeah, I think uh, most of it, Bill, uh, seems to me wrong. Uh, a lot of uh, people who are saying, uh, you know, the league is uh, really in trouble. I think maybe it's stronger now than it ever was. Here are the officials coming to center ice. Ron Harris is our referee tonight. Alan Glassbell, his linesman on the right, and Ron Fournier on his left. 
regular season officials and uh, sometimes the officials come in for a lot of criticism. This is a big night for them as well. What do you mean sometimes? Sometimes. <laughs> Only when they're here. Only when they're here. Well, should be quite an evening, Robert. I look forward to watching this game as I'm sure you do. The ceremony sometimes a little bit long. I thought they went with dispatch this evening. Everybody was properly uh, recognized. When you're an all-star, an all-star, an all-star, how do you pick any one over the other? I think it's going to be a lot of fun. This could be one of those 8-7 shootouts, you know. Oh, it wouldn't be bad, I tell you. You know, <laughs> as I said before, I think the big key for you and I who uh, broadcast these games in this league for a long time now, this one, no one cares. Uh, we care who wins, but we're not worried. It's not in the standings, and uh, you can relax and enjoy a great hockey game. Well, Serge Bernier is coming up to center ice. He'll face off, as he has done many times, I'm sure, against Dolph Nilsson. What a line. The Winnipeg Jets and the Quebec Nordiques against each other here. And uh, they play this kind of shoot them up and down the hockey, up and down the ice game during the regular season. Ron Harris is set, and we're underway in the fifth annual WHA All-Star Game from the Hartford Civic Center, Hartford, Connecticut. Tommy Bergman and Paul Schmier, not a bad pair. Dump it down. This one's going to be icing before we get started. They want to go right to it. Hurry and dump the puck, and let's go score one, Bob. You mentioned it. you got the two highest scoring lines in either division against each other right now. The Jets, uh, Nilsson, Ulf Nilsson, Andres Hedberg, and Bobby Hall against Cloutier, Tardif, and Serge Bernier in the defensive pair for uh, the East, as we have now changed J.C. Tremblay, number three, and Pat Stapleton, number 12. Jacques Demers will use that combination all night. Right, and uh, Plum and Hughes, of course, are both from the Cincinnati Stingers. We'll be seeing them a little bit later on. This face off down in the corner. And it's a little bit. <laughs> well, somebody lost a helmet. That's not supposed to happen in an all star game, is it, Bob? Dolph Nelson got uh, hit pretty hard. <laughs> Here's Whitey Stable in center ice. Dumps it right side. Bernier is in. Leaves it back for his teammate on the Nordiques and has it stripped off the stick. Good poke check by Paul Schmier. Not bad. Paul Schmier, one of the best in the business. Here come the flying Swedes. Picked out by Rutledge. Well, the uh, West here in the early going has Bobby Hull down behind the net, and Rutledge just kind of, or Lavasseur, I should say. I got, I got these two 30s here. I'm looking at them both, and just enjoying the game so much, I should pay attention. There's Bergman. Trying to slide it out. Easily done. Norris, Hull. And Bernier drops it back to good old steady Whitey. He never seems to break a sweat in a game, Bob. You see him play all the 80 games with the Indianapolis Racers. Many times, 45, 50 minutes a game. Gordy Howe out on the ice for his first appearance. A shot from the right point by Norris goes high in the crowd and will have a faceoff. Paul Popeil out there from the Houston Arrows along with Gordy Howe. Joe Norris, there's Gordy Howe. 29th season in professional hockey. More of everything than anybody else has ever done in the game, Bob. Not getting older, getting better. Every time I see him, he plays a better hockey game. Um, the Indianapolis race line out for the East now. Michelle Pernazzo at center, number six. Hugh Harris, number seven on the left wing, and Blair McDonald, number 15, on the right wing. And Gordy Roberts back on defense with Tommy Abrahamson, the Racers, and the Whalers. What an unusual combination to put that together. Here's Tommy A down the middle. Gives it to little Michelle Perizo who dumps it in. I have to ask you about the stick that little Michelle plays with. It's got to be uh, one that he got in the little hockey store someplace because it's the shortest one, I think, in professional hockey. We'll talk about that later. Whatever he has the works. It works, right. Here's Hugh Harris. Red line. Dumps it right side. McDonald. Shot. And a save. Paul Popeil. We've got a lot of the arrows out on the line. Norris is on the line between Howe on the right and Cam Connor on the left. That's Howe, leaving it for his defensive partner, Paul Popeil, his defensive teammate, I should say, on the arrows, Popeil. Howe in center ice, throws to Popeil, red line. Back in the middle, Cam Connor, shot, kicked out by Rut. Uh, by Levasseur. Levasseur. I'm going to put Rutledge on the opposite team. Down the right side, McDonald now. Perizzo, they're in. Back to McDonald, tries to put it in front, can't do it. Kevin Morrison from the San Diego Mariners, number four with the puck. Goal scoring threat on defense. He certainly is. There's Hugh Harris trying to go to Perizzo, but poke checks right back. Tommy Abrahamson circling in his own end. Tommy Abrahamson, third. There's his little flashy move that he uses from time to time. Steps over the red line, dumps it in. Norm Ferguson's going to send it right back out. To a teammate. And we've got an offside. The little fella in the middle, 
Andre Lacroix. All-time leading scorer in the WHA. Uh, there's Normie Ferguson, who's had just a great start with the Mariners and uh, leads the league in winning goals. Has seven, and he is really the guy they look to in the clutch. Playing on the right side with his teammate Andre Lacroix, who's number seven, and the left winger uh, Willie Lindstrom, who has a broken cheekbone, has the mask. He is playing along with uh, uh, the rest of his Winnipeg teammates. Normie Ferguson, an all-star for the second time, has played very, very well this year. We were sitting here watching those opening ceremonies and uh, listening to number nine, Bobby Hull, number nine, Gordie Howe, and I thought surely the announcer was going to say number nine, Norm Ferguson. That's how we usually see him, but tonight he's number ten. I guess he can give uh, give up a number to a couple of those fellas. He does, and here he comes. And Howe, he's in, right back to the line. Quick shot, kicked out. Barry Wilkins from the point on that one. Puck loose in the corner now. And uh, Ferguson to Lacroix. Out front shot. Hit the post. Oh. Willie Lewis hit the post. Another one is ticked wide by Andre Lacroix. And Ralph Backstrom will work it out on the left side. Fires it on ahead. In a big hurry. Offside. Hold everything. Offside Come back pass. and try it again, Rich Leduc. Rich Leduc from the Cincinnati Stingers. Rich Almost Leduc. got that breakaway pass. Started a two-on-one with his teammate Dennis Sopchuk. I think uh, the first couple of minutes, Bill, it's easy to see why Louis Devasseur is leading the league in goals against average. Uh, playing under uh, a bit of a handicap now with the Edmonton Oilers after uh, sale today. Well, he's played well. Kicked out a couple of big shots early. We'll talk about that a little later, later on. The, trade, uh, the uh, sale to the Edmonton Oilers. Andre Lacroix dumped it out of the zone, then comes up with it again in center ice, and now it's Lindstrom on the left side. He's over the line and in. Uh oh Lacroix tries to go out front, knocked loose, and hauling it away is Dennis Sobchak. On the move, lets one go from center ice. Easily handled, and the fight back they come. Lacroix down the middle. Stops, drops it back, all the way back, two on one. Here it comes, Bob. And Sobchak put it behind, Leduc. Back in front, Sobchak, kick down. Nice save. That's Sopchuk and Duke went in. Puck is in the corner. I think that's the first time anybody's run into the boards. You mentioned earlier they have a lot of fun playing these games. They don't get too tight in the corner, do they? Not too tight. <laughs> Little whoop. Now the Duke gets a face off in the corner to the right of Lavazier. 15-38 to go in a scoreless first period. I think the fans here, uh, Bob, uh, take the game in the spirit that it's intended and enjoy all of the activity and the pomp and whatever it is that goes with it. And uh, just, to, just to put it all together here, it's just so much fun to see those people. For once, they're on your side. The wide open games, you know, both teams playing up and down, and, and the only two guys suffer the goal sentence. <laughs> That's right. It's like playing in practice when the coach says, we're going to do three on O's and you That's stop them all. Yeah. George Lyle out on the ice now uh, with Whitey Stapleton, Mike Rogers, and Mark Napier. Some good young talent out on the ice as the uh, West Division ices the puck. American-born uh, Robbie Fatorik out of Phoenix. Uh, what a great hockey player he is. And uh, the story on Robbie is if you're walking across the street with him, you better run because he's going to try to beat you to the other side. <laughs> that fierce a competitor and uh, just a heck of a hockey player. And I've never seen him have a bad game. Robbie Fatorik, who must, with all that equipment on, go about 153 and a half pounds. But I'll tell you what, just as you said, a competitor every inch of the way, he'll be fighting it. Against Mike Rogers, another one of the little fellas. Gets it back to the right point. J.C. Trombley couldn't do anything with it. Here comes Fatorik. The Lawson. And Lawson dumps it in, easily handled. No collision. There's with the Louis. There. Oh, no, we don't go in and knock over those goaltenders tonight. Interesting story about Louis Bob. Yeah, he started uh, the season and was leading goaltender with the Minnesota Fighting Saints, that franchise for all intents and purposes, out of the WHA. And he was sold uh, to the Edmonton Oilers along with six other players. And it will be interesting to see what Edmonton does with those players because they have room on their roster for only two or three. So there is a major trade anticipated. And uh, clubs like New England and Cincinnati and uh, Birmingham very prominently mentioned. And indeed they are. We uh, The meetings are going on at this all-star break, and we may get some news. I don't know whether they're going to release some things or whether some trades have been made or not while we've been sitting here even, Robert, but it could have happened. And if it is, we'll pass it along to you. This is Stapleton behind the net. Pat Stapleton. Five feet, eight inches tall, but he plays a ton on defense. We're going to have an offside. Yeah. Nope, knocked out. Delayed offside indicated. Down the left side, Del Hall looking for a loose puck. J.C., what a defensive combination out there now, J.C. Trombley and Pat Stapleton. Not too shabby, Robert. Think they've been there before? I think they've been there once or twice. Buck back behind uh, Lavasseur again. Stapleton is there. 
scrambling with Danny Lawson. Tries to come back to left point. Does get it out for Bergman. Shoots it wide. Fatorik holds it in. Nice move. Stapleton and Fatorik, two of the mighty midgets that are talent-wise giants in the World Hockey Association. Hall tries to throw it out front for Lawson, but it's ticked back away by Tromble. Here we Slides go. it ahead to Mike Rogers. Right side, Napier. Stops, fires, knocked down by Bergman. Good, good block by Bergman because otherwise he screens Rutland. Left side, Hall in for a quick shot. Handled easily by Louis. Mark Napier. How about the talent on this line with Napier on the right side and young George Lyle on the left side. The two of them are still about, ages combined, are still about uh, eight years younger than Gordy Howe. Anders Hedbear, another one of the real giants in the league. Nice move in front, trying to clear the puck out of the zone. They managed to get it out, but just barely. That's hard to Bernier, right side it in, and he can't get a shot away. Goes behind the net, slides it out front to the right point. Here comes Gordy Roberts with a shot, knocked down, and we have a high stick, and that will call for a face-off. It was handled by another player on the same team, the West Division All-Stars. We're still scoreless, 13-31. Frankly, Bob, as uh, we take a look at... Bobby Hull here. Uh, I'm a little surprised that we haven't turned on a red light or two already. I have, too. There have been some good shots, but uh, the goaltender is playing very, very well. And uh, you've had a couple of block shots. The last by Gordy Howe uh, prevented his goaltender from being screened on the shot also. Bernier against Nilsson, controlled by nobody. Up back to the point that Gordy Roberts wheels it around the boards, far corner. Popeil is there. Slides it ahead. Here they come, three on two. Nilsson in the middle, leaves it. Bobby Hull can't handle it. Out it comes. Cloutier. What talent down on the ice. <laughs> John Garrett says, Ron Harris, Bobby Hull tripped somebody. Blow the whistle. This is one of the games the officials enjoy, too, I'm sure. Well, you don't want to give too, uh, too many penalties. It takes away from the game, but uh, they'll call the out penalty as soon as uh, something obvious happens. That was Morrison dumping it in, and he spun off Nilsson, his centerman, around, and there wasn't much he could do about it. Kevin Morrison came from uh, New Haven in the American Hockey League to San Diego in the World Hockey Association and uh, has become quite a defenseman. Yeah, you know, when uh, Kevin came into the league, there were those who said, okay, he's big and tough, but can he play the game? Well, 24-goal season says, yes, he, he can. He can play the game. Cloutier, number nine. Rael Cloutier from the Quebec Nordiques. Here they come. Cloutier in the middle. Tardif right side. He's in. Knocked away nicely that time. Paul Popeil. He looks around. He's with Hedberg. Down the middle. They leave it. And oh. following it up. Here's Nelson. Shot saved by Lavoisier. Bobby Hall digs it out. Behind the net. Nelson. Out front. Hall walks in one. And it's another save. What a save. Up on one. Wait till you see that one. Those guys don't have his Bernier one on one the other way, and he's knocked away. Last minute by Popeil. Popeil gave Rutledge a little more help than Lavoisier got at the other end, Bob. I tell you, the star of the first period so far is Louis Lavoisier. Oh, he's, he's doing all right. Well. Bobby Hull, left side, Morrison. This is Popeil. Comes to the line. Well, they say that one's all right. That was close enough. No offside on that. Let it play. <laughs> Serge Bernier. Gordy Roberts sends it ahead. This will be, nope, they're going to wave it off. And everybody changes down below us. Whoops. Are they going to take it in? No, they didn't. They waited. That play is onside. I thought Hugh Harris might step in a little quick there, Bob, but they uh, kept the play onside, put a little pressure on in the corner. About two feet from the corner, really. <laughs> well, uh, they kept the run on the blue line. I'm not sure it was offside, Bill. Uh, Michelle Parlazzo waited until the last second and carried it in. They freeze it in the corner to the right of Wayne Rutledge. And with 11.16 to go here in the opening period, we're still scoreless as we take a look at little mighty Michelle. I'll tell you, Michelle Parlazzo, uh, one heck of a hockey player. Here we got a, a great play coming up with Bobby Hall on Louis Levasseur right in front of the East Cage. Now watch Louis play it perfectly. Watch his Hall. Hall trying to get the handle on it to go top shelf on him. Louis stays right down. Puck shot right along the ice and watch the save. As he comes up a little bit on him, he's looking the wrong way, but the pad's in the right way, in the right position. And now, look at Hedbear right in front of the net. If he wasn't taken out, it's a goal on the rebound. That sure is. You say they don't play defense in uh, the All-Star games? Well, at least the goaltenders have to. <laughs> 
Linesman Allen Glass Bell drops the puck. Gordy Howe is on the far side trying to dig it out. Can't do it yet. Here's McDonald. Now, and they turn right around the other way. Joe Norris to hold. Can't get it out of the zone, though. Kept in by little Michelle Ferrizo. Now they'll bring it out. This is Gordy Howe. Tries to flip it ahead. Nope. No offside. Cam Connor might have had one skate on the line, and they started right back the other way. A little bit sloppy in between the blue lines at the moment as they try to get it turned around. This is Cam Connor going one on one with John Hughes. Drops it back. Quick shot. Wide. That one from Joe Norris. Tipped wide by Louis Lavasseur down the middle and going nowhere that time. McDonald coming right back. Barry Wilkins. Trying to get it over the line. Do it's just barely over the line. Can't keep it in. Comes back out to Norris. Holds. Gets everyone on side. Flips to Gordy Howe. Left side to Cam Connor. Too deep. Be knocked away by Ron Plum. We're just about halfway through the first period of the Hartford Civic Center. Fifth annual World Hockey Association All-Star Game still scoreless. This is Cam Connor, bright young star from the Houston Arrows. Long left side pass from McDonald to, Par to uh, Harris. Perizzo back to Harris. Trying to go out front. Can't do it. We're going to have... No, I thought we'd have a hand pass, but one of the West Stars dove in and beat Perizzo to it. John Hughes, McDonald, offside. 9.39. As the boys are getting into the spirit of the thing now, Bob. Yes, they are up and down on that time. I think Blair started to make the pass on his left wing to Hugh Harris, but uh, couldn't see his way through the uh, defenseman there, and so carried it in himself, and Huey was just a stride offside. But there's the guy who has really been the star in the first period. Had to been, uh, make some big, big saves early. The big one off Bobby Hall. Anytime you stop the Golden Jet in that close, Bill, you've done a heck of a job. I'm sure he'd like to save that one for one of the games. It's got two points on the line. Down at the other end, Wayne Rutledge knocks one away. Here comes Andre Lacroix. Tommy Bergman. Good, says the linesman as Willie Lindstrom goes in. Can't handle a puck, however. And they started right back out. Dennis Sobchuk. Left wing, Richie LeDuc. In the corner, out front, nobody there. Right back comes Andre Lacroix. Leaves it for Lindstrom. Now head to Schmier. Ferguson, Schmier, inside, taken away Whitey Stapleton. And the West. He's going to attack. Ball one, go, go by the boards, and the East comes right back. They're just moving it around the nets. The goaltenders are going to have about 50 saves apiece if this keeps up, Bob. And none of the fans will mind at all. No Andrew. way. Right side, Sopchuk, out right front. J.C. Trombley, let's watch it again. All right, here's a pass ahead to Richie LeDuc, the sentiment from the Cincinnati Stingers, using his teammate Dennis Sobchuk on the near boards. Now watch Dennis set up J.C. right in front. Sucks the defense outside with him. He's got him where he wants, feeds it in the slot. Out of the air, J.C. comes up, shoots it in. one nothing East. Big goal by J.C. Trombley. LeDuc and Sobchuk will pick up the assist. Wow. Did you... That looked like he was hitting a low knee-high fastball on the outside corner, knocked it down, then put it behind the goaltender. Oh, I think uh, Rutledge was really mesmerized by the stick work of J.C. Trombley. He did an excellent job. Great pass from Dennis Sobchuk, set it up. One of the things that J.C. Trombley does, the same as Pat Stapleton, they don't seem to have to work awfully hard, but they're always in the right spot, and that time Trombley in where you don't often see him. Experience, you know, that's the key word with both of those gentlemen. Uh, they played the game enough to know how to get to po from point A to point B with the least amount of energy and be there on time. Okay, play back in now. The East leading on J.C. Tremblay's goal. Coming at 11-17. 1-0. No icing, say the linesman, as Gordy Roberts chases it down, takes it from Louis Lavasseur, goes behind the net. The youngest player in the World Hockey Association right now. Starts it out, loses it. Andre Lacroix puts a couple of three moves on. It's pulled down. They try to Willie Lindstrom out front. Shot. Loose. And Bobby Howe. Bobby Howe put it on. I didn't see the goal light go on. I didn't Did see it. how it could stay out, Bob. Great save again by Louis Levasseur. But the rebound came right back onto Bobby Hall's stick and nothing that uh, Louis could do. Two big stops again, but the third one, well, here's the way it looks. Again, the great play right over in front. Normie Ferguson is there. 
as the puck comes back, a backhanded shot. Levasseur makes the save, can't find it, and Bobby Hall sweeps in and puts it in. Well, Andre Lacroix will pick up the second assist. They say Paul Schmier. I got a replay. It looked like the Golden Jet. Yes, it was. No question about it. Down the middle now. In a big hurry. Mark Victor is pulled down. No penalty. <laughs> well, the fans are definitely an Eastern Division crowd here, Bob. Oh, yeah. Mike Rogers battling on the far boards. He's out there with George Lyle. It's Paul Popeil. Lyle in working with Popeil behind the net. They get a whistle. Maybe we're seeing two number, uh, too many number nines. They're going to call it Paul Schmier. Uh, it looked like Paul from the angle we had. Well, let's... Uh, we'll go along with Paul well, Sure, we'll take a look. Goal Schmier is what the clock says. 1-1 one, one is the score underneath that Whalers. They're the host team here tonight at the Hartford Civic Center. That's the East Division All-Star scoreboard, and the visitors, of course, are from the West. There's Paul Popeil, number six. Robbie Fatorik, number eight. Both West Division All-Stars. Popeil, a solid, solid performer, and uh, just getting the recognition he deserves. He has been a performer, very solid defenseman for many years in this league. The Houston Arrows have won a couple of AFCO Cup championships with uh, a tremendous defense anchored by Popeil and Shella and others. Paul uh, should be on the All-Star team, it is. Play is back underway, and it's the West turn to come storming down. Out front, Louie reached out in a big hurry and grabbed that one. Danny Lawson, one of the uh, top goal scorers. Only Bobby Hull has scored more in the WHA. Danny from the Calgary Cowboys and uh, perched right on the doorstep. Louie made another big stop. Del Hall had come down the left side. He's, uh, he's one of those very quiet, efficient forwards. Gets the job done, scores a ton of goals. Face off coming to the left of Lavasseur as Hughes comes out on defense with Plum. And Hughes is trying to come up with a puck in the skates of Fatorik and Rogers, and it finally comes to George Lyle. Ahead to Morrison, knock uh, rather, yes, to Morrison, and he puts it back in, and Fatorik and Hughes battle for it. George Lyle, Morrison again. Fatorik, loose puck, and the East breaks it out two on one, but coming over in a hurry, Popeil breaks it up and forces the play offside. Mark Napier moving in at about 900 miles an hour with those Birmingham Jets. I'll tell you, the, uh, the Birmingham Bull Rookie of the Year, Mark Napier, uh, playing out there with George Lyle. You mentioned it a while ago. An awful lot of talent there with Mike Rogers in the middle. They're all young and upcoming superstars in the league, and I think that's one of the showcases of the WHA, the youngsters. There's Mike Rogers with a shot from the face off on wide, and his teammate on the New England Whalers, George Lyle, takes it to the corner. They pop it loose. Napier tries to put it out front, and how about that one? They rolled it right up into the air. It could have fallen down behind Wayne Rutledge, but he hung out. Tell you, I've seen, I think we've seen an excellent first period of play. Uh, both goaltenders coming up big, both teams having scoring chances, and we've seen two goals, one aside. And two goals by two of the premier players in professional hockey history. J.C. Tremblay from the Quebec oh, Nordiques. And Paul, Sch I'm still going to give it to Bobby L. I, I'm really tough. You're right, Paul Schmier. Both defensemen, that's an oddity. That is. Serge Bernier is out there now. This is Cloutier. And he loses it. They call Dell. Danny Lawson gets it. And he couldn't, couldn't break it two on one and has to settle for just dumping it down behind the net where Plum and Bernier break it out. In the middle, Tardif. Tardif. Over the line, steps around, spun and falls, no penalty, Plum. Left side, Hughes, gets everyone on side, sends it right back in. Lawson. Fatorik. Whoop, good, says the linesman, but they can't make the pass connect. And the East will bring it right back out. Bernier tries to get a shot, can't do it. Nice play, Bobby, Bobby Hull. Hull. Everyone thinks that Bobby does nothing but play offense. Demonstrated there, he knows how to keep the other guy off the board as well. And we're sure that was home. That one was. And look at him waiting at the doorstep to go the other way as Morrison brings it along. Leaves it for Hull. Hull cross looking for his centerman on the Winnipeg Jets. Off Nilsson can't make it happen. And there's no icing as the linesman wave it off. We're down to just five minutes, 37 seconds to go in the first period of this All-Star game with the score still tied at one. Oh, Bobby Hull's offside. That'll stop the play, and we'll get a face off. Both teams changing now. Stapleton comes out on the ice. Plum and Hughes come off. 
end of this period, uh, we're going to be talking to some of the All-Stars. It's going to be Paul Schmier from time to time. We'll get an opportunity to talk to all of these players. Right now, Bob Lamy will be heading down to get set up to take care of that chore. Most interesting people that you'll be meeting tonight. And they'll all be stars of the game, obviously. This is Pat Stapleton. Ahead to Bernier. Bernier left side and in. Moves to the slot, fires wide. Bernier centers. Try to score! Number eight, Mark Sardiff. As you just got a quick look at one of the uh, all-time WHA greats, watch this. Here's Bernier, comes in, right in the slot. There's the shot, wide of Rutledge. Bernier follows his own shot, pulls it out, right out in front. And here's Mark Tardiff, drives it home from right on the doorstop. Pat Stapleton and number 21, Sir Bernier. Stapleton and Bernier, 12 and 21, get the assists. Here's Nilsson. Tremblay. Tremblay to Bernier. Taken away, they try to slide it for Hulk, can't do it. Instead, the other way, it's Couchet. Right side, Bernier, shot, hit the post. Hit the post, or it would have been three to one. Bobby Hull, as they come out two on two. Hull with Nilsson, in he goes. He spun around, and we're gonna have a penalty. The first of the game. And Ron Harris indicates this will be a hooking call. Number nine, Real Cloutier. Let's listen to Ron Harris. Number nine, hooking. Referee Ron Harris, number nine. Real Coutier. Let's take a look at a little bit of offensive action just before that penalty. Here's the man who's in the box. This is when he's on offense. This is Coutier. Moves it to his teammate on the Nordiques. Bernier fires. And bang, right there off the post. Wayne Rutledge looks around and says, uh-oh. That one was past him, but now it's a West power play. And look at the troops they have out there. Bergman and Schmier on defense. Norris with uh, Howe and Cam Connor up front. Here's Gordy Howe, right side and in. Hit the post. Well, we've had two of them as he hits the post. Or we would have had a tie game. Puck quickly cleared down the ice. 4-11 to go. First period, 2-1. to one. The East leading the West. That time we had Hugh Harris knocked down. They thought there should be a penalty, but here's Paul Schmier the other way. Schmier is in. Lays it for Bergman. Knocked down in front, Tommy Abrahamson. He gets it ahead. Dennis Sopchuk in a hurry. Puts a move on Tommy Bergman, but can't make the play, and Bergman comes up with a puck behind the net. Schmier, Gordy Howe, nice move. Makes another one, gets it left to Cam Connor. Connor turns it around, back in the middle. Schmier, shot, save, rebound. Nobody there, and Palacier covers up. We'll have a face-off. Tommy Abrahamson helping Louis Lavoisier. There's a flying Swede from the New England Whalers. Here's the replay. Take a look at this. In it goes. Bang. Now it's going to be loose and bouncing around with a lot of blue sweaters. Finally, Lavoisier gets it on the bed. And if you saw closely there, it just popped out for an instant, and then they cover it up. This is Paul Schmier. 57 seconds to go on the penalty. Shot goes wide. Norris lets it go to Bergman. Inside, Norris tries to put it in front for the scramble. Nobody there. The Duke can't clear it. This is John Hughes, all from the Cincinnati Stingers. This is Mark Napier. Blum and Hughes, the two defensemen, with Richie LeDuc up front. Three Stingers, Mark Napier, Birmingham Bulls. 18 is LeDuc chasing the puck. Out of the, out of the zone to the neutral zone. Paul Schmier holding, waiting. And he waited long enough to howl. Norris, quick shot, tipped in front, and nope. Nothing doing again. Paul Schmier in looking up close. Got a lot of help, and as uh, Bob Lamey pointed out earlier, not a lot of heavy action around the goaltender. There you see, 2.53 to go, 2-1. to one. The East still leads the West. Richard LeDuc, Cincinnati Stingers, fine hockey player. Face off, Popeil, Ferguson, Lacroix, Willie Lindstrom, Popeil, Lindstrom again, Lacroix, Willie Lindstrom, save! What a big one by Louis Lavoisier! 
out to the neutral zone. Popeil turns it around for Lindstrom. The West starts back. Penalty over. There you see Cloutier out. Both teams at full strength right side. Ferguson shot. Save again. Lavoisier. Out to the neutral zone. Lacroix battling the puck. Turns it around and starts it back the other way. This is Willie Lindstrom. Quick shot. Kicked wide and up into the crowd. Both teams changing as we take a look at Wayne Rutledge, a veteran, and there's the East Division bench, Jacques Demers, the coach of the Indianapolis Racers, and in the background you saw the trainer, Eddie Swiss. Two minutes, ten seconds to go here, first period. Fifth annual World Hockey Association All-Star Game from the Hartford Civic Center, Hartford, Connecticut. Brand new complex, beautiful complex, just opened in its second full hockey season. Now we're set to go with the business at hand, the hockey down on the ice. Left point, Morrison fires one, kicked out. Andre Lacroix chasing Lyle and Stapleton take it away, and this is Lyle. Right wing, Napier. Napier is in. Hooked away. Quickly, Morrison. Back it comes to Morrison. Can't get past J.C. Tremblay, though. Tremblay wheels it around the boards. Gets rid of all the pursuit, then slams it around the corner to mark Napier on the right side. Stapleton. Lyle. Lyle is in. Leads for Rogers. Rogers still holding, dumps it in the corner. Popeil is there. Just a minute and a half to go in period number one. The East All Stars leading the West All Stars two to one. Puck and center ice on the stick of Stapleton. This will be icing if, Lava if uh, Rutledge lets it go. And they do manage to get the icing with a minute and 21 seconds to go. 11 and white, Mark Napier. Flips wide, Rogers chasing it. One minute. One minute. We're in the final minute of play. As that stops the play, and uh, we get a face off with 56 seconds to go. There's a, quite a collection of stars. The East Division All Stars for this fifth annual WHA game. There are their compatriots out on the ice. Face off to the right, right of Rutledge. Final minute of play, period number one. Tommy Abrahamson could not keep it in at the left point. Parizzo to Harris. Harris throws it in front for McDonald. Can't come up with it. This is Robbie Fatorik for the West, number eight. Taking away Tommy A. Tommy A circles behind his own net. Half minute to go. First period. It's Gordy Roberts. Roberts being harassed by Del Hall. Here's Gordy starting it down the middle. Long rush, fires wide of the net. 22 seconds to go as the West's Robbie Fatorik fires ahead. Danny Lawson has Del Hall breaking. Can't come up with it. Gordy Roberts knocks Hall to the ice. Puck picked up and sent out of trouble very quickly by Ferris Old. Just seven seconds to go. Behind the net, Lavoisier stops it, sends it left. Hugh Harris, clock winding down, and that's going to be all there is in period number one. And after one period, the East is leading the West Division All-Stars two to one. We're talking with last year's most valuable player on the United States team and a fellow who scored the goal for the West tonight, Paul Schmier from San Diego. And Paul, it's interesting, they say this is an offensive game when you play in the All-Star game, yet the defensemen have played a key role tonight. Well, I think uh, most of the defensemen that we have on the All-Star team are offensive defensemen. Uh, uh, if you look at all the players out there, all our defensemen have a, a big number of points halfway through the year. And uh, I think the WHA is trying to stress, uh, you know, a, a little more offensive and uh, make it a little more exciting for the fans. Paul, what about your goal? You kind of came out of nowhere, and I don't think Louis saw you coming. Well, no, he didn't. In fact, there was a backhand shot, and it was just, just dropped right there right at my feet. So I, all I had to do was just put it in. I was uh, more surprised than anybody else. Paul, you've been around this league for a long time. What about the young talent in the WHA, the Mark Napiers, the George Lyles, and others? Boy, they're terrific. I'm telling you, I, uh, the, the future that they've got is just unbelievable. They're, they're the Gordie Howes and the Bobby Halls of, of the future. 
Paul, your hockey club in San Diego has gotten off to a great start, and I think keyed on defense. You, Kevin Morrison, and the rest of them out there. What about the Mariners for the rest of the season? Well, we're, we're in first place now, and uh, I think we can stay there. We've got a, a very strong goaltending, good defense, and our forwards' uh, lines are well balanced. So. Uh, it's going to take uh, Winnipeg or Houston. Uh, it's going to take a good effort on their part to uh, knock us out of the top spot. Paul, they say all stars. Sometimes the players that come to games like this don't really care about an all star game. What does an all star game mean to a Paul Schmier? Well, uh, to me, it means a lot because, uh, you know, I feel I'm very fortunate to be here. And uh, I go out there and I'm I sure uh, nobody's going to hit anybody or I'm not going to either. But uh, you try to show your stick handling, your shooting, and uh, maybe breaking up, making some good defensive plays out there. and. Uh, so it's, it's uh, always an honor for anybody to be picked, uh, no matter what they say. What about playing with the, the great old guy, Gordy Howe, and Bobby Hull for the first time on an All-Star team? Oh, they're terrific. They're, uh, those two guys are my favorite uh, guys of all time, not only in hockey, but they're super, uh, super men, too. Okay, when you play against a Gordy Howe, Paul, are you conscious in your own mind about a legend, or do you just go out and play the game? Well, I think I was at first, but now I know Gordy pretty well, and... Uh, you know, we talk back and forth. I call him an old goat and all that stuff. And uh, But you still have to watch him. He's a tremendous player. There uh, we get a good look at Louis Lavasseur getting set to go with the second period. Here's Bobby Hull just uh, getting all the doors closed around. Can I talk to you yet, Bob? Caught your breath. Ready to go? Oh, yeah. Okay, go get him. What's get happening? Who? Anybody. <laughs> well, yeah, I didn't see the third goal, but... Uh, Certainly, though, you West put an awful lot of pressure on the East. I think what the shots were 18 to 7. Is that what it was? 17, 18 to 7 in the first period. 18 to 7. And uh, Louis Levasseur, so far the difference. He certainly is. Maybe we'll get a chance to talk to him later before the game is over. Who they knows? just do that. <laughs> okay. Play is underway in the second period of the fifth annual WHA All-Star Game. And Whitey Stapleton wheels it around the boards. Get things underway here. This is Klute J. Tardif and Bernier up front. Tremblay and Stapleton on defense. That's not a bad hockey team. Just don't even worry about the other teammates down there. Be tough to go the full route, but uh, those guys, uh, an awful good five from to Howe. Anders Hedbear. Deep in the corner, fires one around the boards. Back to Paul Schmier at the point. Paul. Schmier sends it in, and Paul uh, has it poked away by Pat Stapleton, but uh, Bobby Hall picks it off. I think uh, Paul Schmier is just uh, enjoying himself no end here. He's having a good time. He scored the goal, and he seems to really enjoy playing in these affairs. There's a quick shot. Last year, you recall, Bob, he was the MVP. Yes, he was for the American team. For the U.S. He keeps it in at the point again. We've got to tell him to redo his that hairstyle, though, because he looks too much like Bobby Hall for us, right? Is that what it was? <laughs> There's the shot that Louis Lavasseur kicks out, and this is Tardif. Nice move. Cloutier and Bernier bring it the rest of the way. Bernier swinging wide to the right, and in. Knocked out quickly, up in center ice. Norris and Hedberg and Nilsson go to work. A shot turned aside. This is Hedberg turning the net in the corner, right point for Popeil. He can't do much with it though, and then he gets some help from Hedberg. Stapleton, Tardif, Morrison, the defenseman number four. What's trolling gives to Gordy Howe. Gordy Howe as the West changes on the fly. Gordy on the off wing can't handle it, but Morrison is there to help. Shot kicked out again. Tell you, Mr. Levasseur, here's a two-on-one with Tardif, Bernier, and Cloutier working. It's in the middle of Tardif. He's in tight. Tight shot, and Rutledge turned it aside. Popeil brings it out. As you mentioned, Levasseur is playing so well, he's working on that MVP award. We'll yep. be telling you more here's about that. Here's a play for Breakaway. From the racers is in. Hit the post. We have had an awful lot of post shots for any game, Bob, much yeah. less an all-star game. This is Joe Norris, number 22, San Diego Mariners, an American-born all-star. Gordy Howe throws top oh. of the slot. Norris again. Oh, didn't get a good piece of that one. Gordy Roberts goes behind the net with Gordy Howe, the younger named for the elder in that case. Scramble along the near boards, and uh, well, well, I thought Ron Harris would blow the whistle, but Joe Norris manages to keep the puck moving. Gordy Howe is up with it now. Deep in the corner. Scrambling along the boards, they finally pop it loose, and it comes all the way to Kevin Morris. Blair McDonald chasing it, couldn't do much with it. Perizzo has to wait to get everyone on side. They leave it for Gordy Roberts. He steps in, pushes it in the corner for Hugh Harris, but Rutledge is there to bang it away for Norris. Norris turns it back. This is Morrison. 
both Norris and Morrison from the San Diego Mariners. Morrison over the red line, tending a pass for Gordy Howe, didn't work. And the Racers line playing intact here tonight for their coach, Jacques Demers, who is the coach of the Eastern Division All-Stars, sends it right back in. Copiel, Morrison, Norris. Trying to send away Connor here. Well, they almost made it. Cam was looking for that uh, pass along the line, but by the time it came, he couldn't do much with it. Here come the racers. McDonald on the right side with Harris. Left side, two on one. Hugh Harris in. Shot save. Rebound, Gordy Roberts. Hugh Harris, a dangerous goal scorer. Especially in this building. In this building, he loves to play here. He's out there now with Tommy Abrahamson, but they can't control the puck. Two on the other way, and it's Lacroix back for Cam Connor. Morrison was set up, and Connor took it away. Shot hit the side, scramble in front, and finally Lacroix shot it right into Louis Lavasseur's pad. And listen to this crowd, Bob. They're really enjoying this game. Yeah, I think so. I think it's an up and down hockey game. Both clubs are having their chances, and right now we're seeing some very hot goaltending from Louis Lavasseur and Wayne Rutledge. We're seeing some good back checking. Good play there by uh, the defense of uh, the East to get back and break up that two-on-one. Uh, Lacroix and uh, Cam Connor and uh, Kevin Morrison. Well, you never know what's going to happen on that one. You know, Three-on-one. The way Louis Lavasseur is playing in this game uh, so far, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, being traded and all those kinds of things to get a guy up because uh, he's was introduced from two different teams <laughs> and ends up playing just an outstanding uh, first period and so far here in the second. Play is back underway. Another fine young defenseman in the WHA. A lot of young, outstanding hockey players in the WHA. This is John Hughes, number 10. He goes right to another one that's even better, probably, and that's Dennis Sobchuk. Exciting player to watch. Plum from the Stingers fires. One another shot from Sobchuk, turned aside by Rutledge. Backstrom almost had the rebound also. Quickly back the other way. Lacroix trying to come up and make something happen, but they shoot it wide of the net. Up and down hockey game. There's Barry Wilkins spun around and quickly back the other way. Sobchuk tried to leave for Leduc down the middle. This is Backstrom. Slides it through, kicked out behind the net. There's Barry Wilkins. Right point plum in tight. Throws it through. Backstrom thought he had himself a goal and it didn't work. Backstrom number 23. Rutledge thought he had the puck under him. That didn't work either. Here's Ferguson Richard the other way. John Hughes knocks it away. Willie Lindstrom throws it through the goal mouth. Loose puck. Knocked aside by John Hughes. Hughes puts it back to a Stinger teammate and East Division All-Star teammate Ron Plum. Ron Plum, more votes at defense than any other defenseman in the WHA for this All-Star game from the league media. This is Backstrom. Still has it. Slides it through. Ralph Backstrom. Ron Plum tries to fire it in. Deflected wide, though. Andre Lacroix behind the net. Backstrom will come up with it. Out front, quick shot, save. Great save by Rutledge off oh, the Duke. The Duke thought he had one there, Bob. Quickly the other way. Norm Ferguson, he tries to walk in. He can't make it, though, and Sobchuk comes the other way with the puck. Entertaining hockey up and down. Here's Lindstrom behind the back. Ferguson, Lacroix, tip wide. And George Lyle sends it the length of the ice, and we're going to have ice. Lots of fun up and down action hockey here at the Civic Center tonight, Bob. I tell you, this is the entertaining hockey game that the fans paid their way in to see, Bill. Uh, both clubs going at it, both clubs trying to add to their goals. Uh, Wayne Rutledge, uh, two big saves off of Richie Leduque here right in front, point blank. Good play by Ralph Backstrom. Ron Plum, you know, with 37 points, is tied for the league lead in scoring among defensemen with Darrell Maggs of Indianapolis. Both have 37. Save from Rutledge upcoming here, right out in front. Now watch Richie Leduque. The Stinger sentiment thinks he has one, but Rutledge says, no way. And then Richie can't get to the rebound as he's written out of the play. There he is, one of the veterans, longtime professional hockey league goaltender, Wayne Rutledge from the Houston Arrows, and a good one. Yes, sir. 13.54 to go, second period, still 2-1 East. There's a quick shot, and Lavasseur lost it off to the side. This is Del Hall. Schmier was looking for another one there. Paul, I guess, decides this is an offensive game. I'm going to score a few if he can. Here they come. Mike Rogers, right side to Mark Napier. Tommy Bergman back to Rogers. Rogers off wing and fired it wide. Couldn't quite get it set up. Stableton keeps it in. Not for long. Schmier battling. Another classic bat. Here's Robbie Fatorik. And he knocks it out. Stapleton at the red line. Right side, Tremblay. Middle, Rogers. Whoops. Rogers forgot something as he spun around looking to make a play. 
And what he forgot was the puck. Del Hall tries to come in, but he and Fatori got crossed up there offside. 13-13 to go. There's little Robbie. We've seen Robbie and Del Hall work some great plays together. That uh, combination plays together in Phoenix. And Del Hall off to his great start in the uh, league. Robbie Fatori always up among the league leaders in uh, scoring. And you know, oddly enough, uh, always seems to be up there among the league leaders in penalty minutes. He has more than any other uh, roadrunner also. Play back in. And speaking of Robbie Fatorik, there he goes. Still controlling it. Look at him battle. Now they break George Lyle loose down the left side. Quick shot save. George Lyle is the leading New England Whaler goal scorer, and he's a rookie, a top candidate for Rookie of the Year honors. This is Del Hall going the other way for the West. Stops, looks out front, comes all the way to the point. Schmier turns it around, and the shot is loose and knocked wide. Danny Lawson hauls it down. Lawson in front. Stapleton knocks that one away. Hold it. Got the we hand, little pass hand pass. pass. Yep. So that'll get a whistle and get a face off for the West down in the East uh, zone next to Rutledge. Here's now Matt Stapleton. Was Matt Stapleton. He blocked a shot with a stick there and then also blocked one with his glove. I know you remember a game right here in this building last year in the playoffs where he took one out of the net that was going in uh, that uh, saved the Indianapolis races in that particular hockey game. Uh, Pat will stop him with as much uh, finesse as the goaltender. And he's just a little fellow, five feet eight inches tall, but he plays like he's about nine feet tall. Very strong. There's a quick one kicked out. That one from Hedberg out there now. Nilsson, Holland, Hedberg, the Winnipeg Jets line. It's Tommy Abrahamson, New England Whalers, number 22 behind the net. Tommy starts it up, slides it ahead. Morrison has it. Sends Hedberg right back, and he's walking in. He loses the puck, knocked wide. Bobby Hull, quick shot wide. Hedberg again behind the net. He's got Hull getting set out front, hoping to get set up out front. Instead goes left point Morrison. Wide. Nobody there to connect. And his body start to move around a little bit here. A little bit of a surprise. Down the right side, Coutier. He gives to Tardif. Tardif over skates, gets it in the corner, throws it through. Bernier had himself an open shot. Here's Coutier misses the net. Tardif gets it back, back to the point. Cordy Roberts fires wide. The shooting gallery is on there, Bob. I think they had Rutledge down, and they were trying to make sure they got it back to the point. Gordy shot it just a little bit wide. Down the middle the other way, Bobby Hull leaves for Nelson. Hull is down and trying to play. Hedberg can't come up with it. As good, wide open hockey. But the score still just two to one West. Trailing by a single goal. All three goals coming in a very short span in the first period. Two of them by defenseman. And two by defenseman. You're so right. Here's Tardif. He scored one of them. He's got the go-ahead goal at this point. Down the right side to Serge Bernier. Puck comes off uh, Bobby Hull's stick. Goes right to Bernier. Norris comes up with it, though, and starts it out. Uh, John Hughes is going to knock it down, but Popeil will take it right back to the west. Send Norris in. Knocked wide. Tardif for the east, number eight. Cross ice, his teammate from Quebec. Lost it, that was Gauthier, but in a quick hurry, Gordy Roberts. There are two of the outstanding young players in the game. And Gordy steps over the red line and dumps it in. We have Coutier. I think that's the key to the WHA right now, Bill. Great young stars, the Cloutiers. Tardif is young. A lot of players, Gordy Roberts, you just mentioned. Mark Napier. Right. Gordy Howe. Trying to come back to the point to Cam Connor. He battles with Cloutier on the far side. Howe still has the puck. Still has it. Circles. Puts it behind the net. And Joe Norris couldn't come up with it. Instead, Serge Bernier will bring it away. Ten minutes. 18 seconds to go. Second period. Look at Howe working down here with Hugh Harris. Good Hugh Harris, Hugh Harris uh, broke up a potential shot. Looks around with a big smile. Hugh came to have a lot of fun and enjoy the game. And he's got the puck on his stick right now. Tries to go to John Hughes. Has to go back and get it himself. Bernier. Ronnie Plum trying to get it out of the zone. Cam Connor battles to keep it in. This is Harris. Well, a lot of pucks hitting skates and nobody can get anything started. Here's Connor inside now. Norris, top of the slot, knocked away, and Bernier will bring it out for the east. Bernier. Here's Harris, shot way high in the crowd. Well, Hugh Harris almost got it into the balcony here. There you see him. Good block by uh, Barry Wilkins and a good drop pass from Serge Bernier to Hugh Harris, who with 55 points among the top 10 in the scoring in the league, and uh, Huey almost had a chance to trigger one from Serge Bernier. Louis Lavasseur, Edmonton Oilers goaltender. In case you have missed it here, now we're going to have a change. This is Joe Daly. Both goaltenders are changing as Louis comes out. Listen to the hand these two get. 
Labasseur comes over and shakes hands with Wayne Rutledge. Uh, John Garrett will be going into the nets for the East. Labasseur comes down. Joe Daly from the Winnipeg Jets comes in for the West. There you see Joe Daly, recently voted the uh, number Top one goaltender goal in the Vestia International Tournament. Joe Daly. Joe Daly, one of the main reasons the Winnipeg Jets, you know, they talk about the high scoring and the Hulls, the Nelsons and the Head Bears, but without the good goaltending, you can't be up among the top teams in the league. And of course, last year, uh, number one, great goaltending by Daly. John this is Garrett a bad goaltender oh, either. Oh, he, uh, I have seen him put just some miraculous games together. One of the funnier guys around, but they teach he can really have fun, but he's dead serious when he puts that mask on. There you see, just about the midway point, 9.40 to go in the second period. The East still leads the West 2-1. to one. Uh, In the All-Star Games, traditionally, they'll change goaltenders at just about the 10-minute mark. And uh, with 20 seconds off, I guess we'll forgive the two coaches, Bobby Crom and Jacques Demers, for not dividing it exactly down the middle, Bob. Well, Huey Harris was going to get a shot. If Jacques had broken up a shot Huey was going to get, <laughs> there could have been trouble. <laughs> uh, both goaltenders, I think, the, the starting goaltenders, Wayne Rutledge and Louis Levasseur, did an outstanding job, particularly little Louis. Uh, excellent job under a little bit of pressure and uh, faced a few more shots, 18-7 in the first period. Well, uh, this is... Uh, an unusual scene that you wouldn't ordinarily see in a regular season game. Both teams changing goaltenders at the exact moment, uh, getting a, uh, an extended warm-up. Uh, they've been sitting uh, on the bench, and there you see Joe Daly working, Robbie Fittori. Robbie looked pretty big in that picture as he skated through. We'll have to tell him we had one of those because... Uh, he looks pretty big when he has the puck and the goaltender sees him coming in, I'll tell you. Because <laughs> Robbie can really snap the shot off and... Uh, one of the most talented players in the league and, and one of the hardest working guys. Uh, you know, some players' talent comes very, very easy, as you well know, in all sports. It comes very easy to them, but other guys have to work hard. Robbie, both. He's got a lot of natural ability, and he works awful hard at it. And I'll tell you, he's got a little son that he says he is just so proud of, and all you have to do is mention him, and his face lights up. Don't know if he's going to be a little hockey player, but he probably will. Well, I guess that's it, says Ron Harris. We'll... Uh kind of get all the boys back on the bench. Anders Hedberg picks up a puck that he was shooting uh, at Joe Daly, flips it up in the crowd. Another souvenir for a fan here at the Civic Center. We're going to have a face-off. Um, where there's Ron Harris, the referee. This is a developing league. The officials there, you see Ron Harris with a smile on his face. Everybody's smiling tonight, Bob. Somebody <laughs> said something to Ronnie, I can tell you. <laughs> I was about to say that he's one of the fine young officials. Uh, we have many fine young hockey players. It is a solid league. The interesting announcement about the international competition counting next year by the chairman of the board, Ben Hatskin, that was made between periods. Uh, I'm sure that's going to bring smiles to the faces of many fans as well, because that's great hockey to watch. Play is back underway now. And here's Norm Ferguson. Huey Harris had a big pass in front of Blair McDonald, just trickled over his stick, or he would have had a good shot on goal. Lindstrom. There's Trebenci, knocked wide, and uh, back behind the net, Ronnie Plum will come up with it and start it out for the East. Slides ahead. This is Harris, Perizzo, back to Harris, offside. Nine minutes, five seconds to go, second period, it's two to one. There's Michel Perizzo. I talked a little, uh, I talked a minute ago about, or a minute ago, several minutes ago, about his little stick. Did you ever measure it? Really, it is about the smallest that we've seen. We talked about it, and there you get a good chance. Looks like he's broken the end of it on top of everything else. Yeah, Mike plays. Uh, Does he feel there's a reason for that? Is it just his style? That's just his style. It's a stick that feels comfortable. All the guys have to have one that feels uh, comfortable, and Mike uh, likes that particular one. It works well for him. Sure does. He's an exciting young player to watch. Here's another one from Indianapolis. McDonald shot. Joe Daly was fooled on that one for a moment and uh, dropped it off on the right side. Oh, they come out with it with Ferguson lugging the puck over the line and in. Just keeps on going. Drops for Lacroix. Top of the slot. Wilkins behind the net from uh, Lindstrom to Lacroix. Cervenci knocked off the puck. Back it comes to his stick, however. Walks right down the slot. The shot saved Garrett. The West is throwing the puck around very, very well, even though these guys haven't played together. When you've got an Andre Lacroix out there, he makes things happen. Behind the net, he set up the play twice, gave it to Willie Lindstrom. Lindstrom got it back to Trebenci. Uh, it was broken up the first time, and Blair McDonald almost cleared it. But Andre Lacroix, when he's got the puck, you just, people are mesmerized. They start watching Andre, and pretty soon he said something up in front of the net, and he almost did there. And off the ice, he's such a 
charming French Canadian. There's the one that was close, but Stabling cleared it. On the ice, though, he's just motion and he moves everything around. Sticks, elbows, whatever, it make the play happen. Quite a hockey player. Here comes Ralph Backstrom from the east, slides down. If it goes, no icing, they wave that one off. Buck is loose, Backstrom is in, and he can't get the shot. This is Lindstrom now to Lacroix. Lacroix turning away from Sobchuk. Lacroix with Ferguson on the right gives him the puck. Shot goes well wide of the net and out comes Garrett with Lacroix over to say, careful now, Chichi, don't fall over there holding that puck out here. Looks like Cesar Geronimo going after one in center field. He had it all the way and uh, Andre could have bumped him pretty good there, but it's an all-star game and uh, Chichi probably yelled at him anyway. <laughs> I think we'd see a smile behind that fearsome looking mask if, it, if we could see through it. There's a shot quickly from Trevenci that goes wide. Or rather, Danny Lawson. And the puck is going to be frozen on the far boards. Still two to one. The East Stars leading the West Stars. Fifth annual World Hockey Association All-Star Game from the Hartford Civic Center, Hartford, Connecticut. Tommy Bergman, premier defenseman of the Winnipeg Jets. Nice pass play. Garrett out to make a big save as Dell Hall walked in. Say the defensemen on the East are getting a big work because the West has been in uh, East Territory a lot. Indeed they have. Here they come now out of the zone. This is Backstrom, another veteran who has seen just record after record and award after award in his professional hockey career. But right now he's got his hands full with Del Hall and he wins the battle and gets the puck out of the zone again. Tommy Bergman, Danny Lawson is in. Hall, shot, save Garrett. Robbie Fatorik is almost knocked off balance with Ralph Backstrom again. Now there's a guy who made some big plays at center ice, tried to move the puck out. You'd think he'd be a little tired. He was the guy back covering Robbie in the slot, so you can't tell me these guys aren't trying to win this game. They sure are. There's the East Bench, number 23 going to sit down. Ralph Backstrom, number three, J.C. Tremblay. And uh, Mike Rogers comes out on the ice. New England Whalers will be centering. Uh, he's a little, uh, little, another little package of dynamite who has been making some things happen. Uh, Bob, this year he's off to his best start ever, and he can uh, move the puck. Two good scoring wings uh, with Lyle and Webster who play uh, with him for the Whalers. Play back underway. There's that man again, Paul Schmier, keeps it in at the point. Everybody was in the way of that one, a little scramble in the corner as they try to come away with it. Put some pressure on in front of Garrett, can't do it. Instead, Gordy Roberts. Scrambles, loses the puck. George Lyle, Paul Schmier from the point. Saved by Garrett again, Danny Lawson. As the West is starting to really heat things up, they want to get it back into this game. Knocked out of the zone by Mark Napier. Back to pick it up very easily is Schmier. Look at this, little pass to uh, Daly. Takes it back, and they start it up the other way. I'm not sure Joe was ready. I'm that. not sure. That's why I think Paul kind of feathered it in there. He didn't want to have that one come in. Here's Fatorik. Sharp angle shot in, a little too close. Throws it out front. And it's going to be hauled away by Mighty Mike Rogers. Over the red line, right side, Mark Napier stops. Holds, and now he fires. Lyle tries to throw it out front, can't do it. Bergman will take it away to Lawson. To Hall, down the middle. Tommy A moves to stop him. That's Tommy Abrahamson. And the puck is knocked in the corner. The shot not on goal. Hall calls for help. Here's Rogers. He's got Lyle with him. Lyle, left side. Lyle has it taken away. Kevin Morris. Three on one. Oh, and what a threesome it is. Here's Hedberg, Bobby Hall, out front, and Morrison couldn't get the puck. Great throw by, by Gordy Roberts. By Gordy Roberts. When you hear the ovation for this one, the hometown boy. Gordy Roberts, an excellent play, breaking up a three on one in front of uh, Mike Garrett, in front of uh, John Garrett, rather, as he got back in the slot to uh, break that pass up. Here it comes again. Bobby Hall, Anders Hedberg with the puck. Hedbear, first man in across. He's looking for the Golden Jet. Who else? He's got it. Now watch Bobby right back to Morrison, but there's Gordy Roberts to break it up and wisely put it right up against the boards and say, stop it. Let me get some guys back to help. Where are some of my friends? Get them back here. Face off to the right of Garrett, and it comes all the way to the point where Paul Popeil from the Houston Arrows will stop it. There's Hedberg again. There's Hull. Popeil in the middle, turned aside by... Tardiff and they come right out again. Morrison misses it and Couchier is down the right side looking for him. This is Bobby Hall one on one against Hughes. He tries to walk around him. He's pushed back to the boards gently. Kicks the puck loose. Nilsson tries to go to Hedberg. Can't do it. Instead it's the flying freshman Serge Bernier. 
puck from behind, though, and very I easily taken. Sweet. Oh, boy. By the flying sweet is right. Look at Anders Hedberg. All the way back, all the way back. Shot save. Oh, what a joyable hockey to watch from a fan's point of view. Excellent hockey, and both both teams have had just outstanding goaltending. Uh, John Garrett coming up with a big save there. Bobby Hall looking behind him to make sure it wasn't caught in the pass where he could wiggle it free and put it in. Five minutes, 12 seconds remaining second period, two to one. While we're getting set for this face off, the attendance has just been passed to us and it's just 170 people short of capacity here at the Hartford Civic Center. 10,337 on hand tonight. Playback in Hedberg, another save by Garrett. Ronnie Plum gets some help from Tardif. Tabernier. Trying to go back to Tardif Popiel to get there first though. The West is really just having a lot of fun shooting the puck here. Yep. Back to the right point again. Kept in Popeil. He fires one in. Garrett, another save. Four minutes, 40 seconds to go. Second period, two to one. 10,337 fans in Hartford enjoying just a most entertaining hockey game. The East leading the West two to one. We're in the final five minutes of the second period. This is Mark Tardin. John Hughes. Cloutier, red line, number nine is Cloutier. Stop, Tardif walking through and taken away. By Terbenci, they go right back. They work it in for Harrell. He tries to go in front, puck at the side of the net. Loose behind the net. Now they try to get it out for Cam Connor. Can't do it. I said Terbenci, and it's number 22, Joe Norris. Our apologies to all the fans in San Diego on that one. Here's Tardif. He's in. He makes three moves, flips it wide of the net. What a move. Mark Tardif. 3.55 to go. Second period. Here's Bernier. Back to Cloutier. Cloutier to Tardif. Knocked away. That one by Barry Wilkins. Norris leaves now. Right side. Gordy Howe walks all the way in. Stops. Flips toward the net. Garrett kicks out. Kicks it right on to Cam Connor. Stick out in front. Garrett another save. That one from Joe Norris. Buck goes into the crowd and stops the clock with three minutes. 37 seconds to go. In the second period of the fifth annual World Hockey Association All-Star Game from the Hartford Civic Center, Hartford, Connecticut, home of the New England Whalers. Look at this. Tardif, there's one move. He gets a little bit of grief. He flips it wide, just barely wide of the pipe. Mark Tardif has already scored one tonight. He has the go-ahead goal at 14.56 of the first period from Stapleton and Serge Bernier. Next year, for fans in Houston, Texas, look forward to this annual event. It'll be the sixth annual All-Star Game, WHA, scheduled at the Summit, Houston, Texas. Right now, Paul DeVenci dumps the puck in for Whitey Stapleton behind the net. Heels it around the board. Whoops, McDonald didn't get it. Stopped instead, Danny lost. This is Perizzo down. Left side, Hugh Harris. Pops up on the twine. Face off will come to the right of Joe Daly. There's the premier goaltender in the WHA. And in the recent Vestia Cup tournament in Moscow, in which the Winnipeg Jets participated as a representative of the World Hockey Association. Joe Daly. Face off will be to his right. As we watch Gordy Howe go to the bench. Number nine, Gordy Howe. That's Norm Ferguson, San Diego Mariners. One of the fine right wings. Back behind the net. This is Schmier. Had it taken right off his stick. Far side. Hey, you're going to tie it up over there or not? Tommy Bergman can't do it. Instead, Perizzo pops it loose. Perizzo trying to work it through to Harris. Couldn't do it. Instead, it's Ferguson the other way. Willie Lindstrom can't handle it. Down in the corner, it's Trombley. Out front, Ferguson shot. What a save, John Garrett. That one, will you? John Garrett on the doorstep. Wide open. Here you'll see it. There's number three is Tremblay. You watch the puck come out front. Everybody goes to the corner. There's the puck popped loose. Here it is. There's Ferguson. Bang. Right on the doorstep. What a save, Garrett. 2.49 to go. Scoreless second period. He still leads the West. Two to one. As Ferguson dumps it back in. Down behind Garrett. J.C. Trombley waits. How <laughs> about that move? Skated right around the puck. Down the left side, Hugh Harris chasing, but this will be icing. 
If Tommy Bergman gets there first, there's the whistle. That stops the clock with two minutes, 27 seconds to go. Some people say this is one of the top half dozen or 10 defensemen in the entire world. Tommy Bergman plays for the Winnipeg Jets, and he is a good one. 10,337 fans on hand tonight to witness this fifth annual All-Star Game at the Hartford Civic Center. Just an enjoyable, entertaining evening. And uh, so far in the second period, all the entertainment, not all the entertainment, but much of it has been provided by the goaltenders. They have been outstanding. Here's Lacroix. Lacroix looking for somebody out front, looking for that tying goal. Gives to Lindstrom. Schmier da dashes in. Backhander in front. Lacroix! Another save by Garrett. And Tommy Abrahamson comes the other way for the Whalers. Tommy left side. Leduc back to Backstrom. Ralph Backstrom trying to keep it in. Does. Gordy, or rather Norm Ferguson. And Lacroix take it the other way. Willie Lindstrom tips it in. Around the boards. We're in the final two minutes of the period. Long right wing pass for Leduc. He's got it. Ahead to Sobchuk. Backstrom. Well, Backstrom breaking. Sobchuk couldn't get him the buck. Instead, it's Morrison. Up and down the ice. Loose and center ice. Just trying to get everybody changed up. This is Backstrom with the puck. Long right wing pass. Sobchuk. Can't get to Luke. That's Morrison. Tough Vitorik. Vitorik three on two. He's got Lawson right. Hall left. Vitorik behind the back pass. Broken up Tommy Abrahamson. Tommy Abrahamson, New England Whalers. Vitorik, Phoenix Roadrunners. Loose puck. They try to get again to Vitorik. Can't do it. Instead, it's knocked down. And as the Duke put it in, Morrison knocked it back out. We're in the final minute of the period. Danny Lawson down the middle. Quick shot. Easily kicked to the right corner by Garrett. Tommy Abrahamson. Loose puck in front. Garrett tried to come out after it. Gets a little help from his friends. George Lyle takes it the other way. He's got Rogers left. Here's Mighty Mike. Flips it in front to Lyle. He shot it wide. George Lyle shot the puck wide. Popeil will try and get it out of trouble with Rogers all over him. 30 seconds to go on the period. Rogers and Popeil will battle back behind the net. Patoric. Patoric. Lawson. Lawson tried to go ahead. The hall breaking left side couldn't do it. This is Rogers bringing it in. 15 seconds to go. Lyle flips it through everybody, but Fatorik knocks it down and brings it out. One last rush for the West. Fatorik down the middle. Drops for Morrison. Shot wide. Lawson shot wide. Kicked back behind the net by Garrett at the buzzer. And after two periods, the score as we watch John Garrett come off. The score is the East All Stars 2, the West All Star 1s. A uh, most appreciative crowd applauding them. There's no scoring to report in the second period. It all happened in the first period, as you see the scoreboard here at the Shot Civic the Center. In the second period. At 11-17 of the first period, Tremblay started the scoring, and Leduc and uh, Sobchuk assist, and Smear tied it. Tardif the go-ahead goal. That's all there was. And that's the way it stands after two periods, two to one. Third period underway. Bob, if this one's as exciting as the first two, it's just going to be a scorcher of a finish. Here we go. Still expect a wide open game. Still expects a lot more goal score than we've had, but uh, great goaltending has been the secret so far. I think that we may see even more wide open play this period because uh, there are just too many gunners down there. I didn't add up the goals of the starting forward lines, but I know that all you look at when you see the uh, scoring statistics from the league, the top five or six say Winnipeg, Winnipeg, Quebec, Quebec, Winnipeg, Quebec. And their two lines are playing against each other right now. This Hedberg can't come up with it. Nilsson does. Turns, holds. Point, and a quick shot from Schmier. Tip wide. Edberg and Nilsson again. Back it comes Tremblay. And they break it out. Cloutier to Bernier. And Bernier throws it through the slot looking for Tardif. Not there. Instead, Bobby Hull turns it up ice with his line mates. Hull to the red line. Loses it. Tremblay. Schmier. Bernier. Can't connect with Tardif. Nilsson. Bergman has it. Ahead and Hedberg. And he's in. Stops. 
loses it to Tremblay. JC's Every everywhere. Yeah, he's everywhere, and he looks like he's not moving at all, but he's there. Gives it to Tardiff. They throw it in. The play is onside. Paul Schmier. This is Tommy Burke. You know, the defensive core on both teams a little bit unsung as far as the offensive gunnery here, but the defensemen on both sides have just played outstanding hockey here tonight. J.C. Tremblay starts it up, knocked away by Gordy Howe. You know, when you sit here and you mention these names, name after name, everyone is a big star, and you think that you're there, and then you come up with some bigger ones. That's this right. is Kevin Morrison taking it away from Fatorik. Gordy Howe comes up with it. Back to Morrison. Well, Gordy Howe tried to lay that one out for Norris, but instead it had to go all the way across to Morrison, and he throws it on in. Garrett, casual, elbow up on the crossbar, watches Whitey Stapleton. That's confidence. He knows what's happening back there, he figures, so that takes care of that. This is Ronnie Plum from the Cincinnati Stingers. Goes left to Bernier. Bernier couldn't handle a pass. Rolls behind the net, kicked it, was in his skates. Plum tries to come up with it. They work it out to Ken Connor. Connor. Norris back to Connor. Connor shot, save. Garrett into the crowd. Point in case there, the young players coming up. George Lyle with an excellent play back checking there. The AFCO Cup, emblematic of the playoff championship in uh, the World Hockey Association, won last year by the Winnipeg Jets, defeating the Houston Arrows in the final round of the playoff. Houston had won it the prior two years, and of course, New England has one of those trophies in their case also. And that's what all of the teams in the WHA will be playing for come this spring. Come the second week in April, the AFCO playoffs start. Play is underway again. Gordy Howe pulled down by John Hughes. Puck rolls out front. Norris can't handle it. Norris, nice move away from Plum on his knees. Norris still battles. And then he finally lost it. Pippo Peels at the line to hang on and keep it in the corner for Cam Connor. Connor in deep to Norris. Norris to Morrison. This is the Arrows and the Mariners against the world here. This is Connor again. Tries to throw it through. There's Norris in tight. And Connor and he both fanned on a shot or an attempted pass. Didn't make it. Up it comes to Morrison. Morrison off the right wing boards for Gordy Howe. Has to turn back to the red line. Tries to send Mor uh, Morrison in. Can't do it. And it goes to Popeil at his own blue line. This is Ronnie Plum. Gordy Howe just kind of strolls back and takes it away. Mobile to Norris, he's in. Norris from the Phoenix, uh, from the San Diego Mariners to Cam Connor, throws it out front, bounced around in front of John Garrett. He's got to be the most unconcerned guy in the world, Bob, with the puck loose in front of him. Doesn't make any difference. Mark Napier, Mike Rogers, shot turned aside by Cam Connor before it ever got through to Joe Daly. Here they come again. Breaking on the right side is Gordy Howe. He got a piece of it with his stick, so it's a good play. John Hughes wheels it around the board. Mark Napier is there. Instead, though, it's Willie Lindstrom coming up with it as the West changing on the fly. Willie in the corner throws it behind the net. Gordy Howe tries to put it out front. Ron Plum there, however. That's Barry Wilkins, number five. Top of the slot. Score! Willie Lindstrom. Play set up, though, at the point, Bill, by Barry Wilkins. Made a good play to keep the puck in and stick handled around the defense. Came to that left-hand face-off circle in the slot, and Willie the West put it home. Tie it up at 2-2. Number 20. 20. Here's the play, Bob. Yes, it is. Barry Wilkins throws it right out in the slot, and Willie Lindstrom makes no mistake. Right over the shoulder of John Garrett, and it's a 2-2 hockey game. Lindstrom, a 20-goal scorer already this season, plus from the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, outstanding player. Number 20, Willie Lindstrom. And here's a shot the other way that Joe Daly reaches up and grabs. You know, we talk about a little bit of the fun, Bob, that these players have, and they really enjoy this uh, particular game. And uh, the Winnipeg Jets and Calgary Cowboys checked in at the hotel yesterday together. The next whistle remind me, and I'll tell you a funny story, how these, these guys from different teams just really have a lot of fun with each other. And uh, one of the perpetrators is one you won't suspect. Down the middle, Andre Lacroix, and uh, they couldn't handle it, Norm Ferguson. To Benchy. Here comes Ralph Backstrom. He can't go to over the line. It's going to be hauled away, though, by Andre Lacroix. Lacroix. Wilkins. Lacroix. In front. There's Wilkins. Shot. Save. And where is it? It's knocked aside that time by Gordy Roberts. With a lot of help from his friends. Back behind the net, Tommy Abrahamson. Tommy A slides it ahead. This is Richard LeDuc. 
play is good. Here are the calls of the linesman, the referee, and everyone. I wanted to tell you about yesterday when they were checking in. Alf Nilsson came up and said at the check-in, Paul Terbench. And Paul Terbenchy comes in and says, Hi, I'm Alf Nilsson. <laughs> he fooled some people. Here's the replay. Watch this action. Backhanded shot coming up here as they slide it back to the point. Now watch the good defensive play here as there wasn't much on the shot that Wilkins got. And Richie LaDuke right here in the slot making a big play to take what could have been an easy goal from Barry Wilkins. Take the puck still loose in front. But you can see how Gordy Roberts had the play figured all the way. He was right in the right spot. <laughs> whipped the mask off and made the great save. <laughs> and says defensemen aren't supposed to do that. 14 minutes, 50 seconds to go. We're tied at two in the fifth annual All-Star game. This is Robbie Fatorik trying to walk in. And Whitey Stapleton's there to take the play away. The racer line is out there with Hugh Harris, Blair McDonald, and Perizzo. This is Stapleton. He gets it up to Perizzo. Perizzo right to McDonald. He tries to go back. Can't do it. Fatorik knocks it down and turns it around two on two. Little Robbie whistles one. Save Garrett. Stapleton clears. Schmier at center ice. McDonald to Perizzo. Knocked away. Three on two. West. Fatorik near boards. Glides in. Through the slot to Del Hall. Knocked off his stick. Back the other way come the racer line. Perizzo left, drops it. Harris, shot, save on front. Nobody there for the East. Perizzo, though, keeps it in. Behind the net, Harris, still controlling. All the way around, and are they gonna get a whistle on this one? Well, no, it's still loose. They kept it away from the boards. Someplace, under Danny Lawson, out it comes, finally, to Del Hall. Hall steps over the red line and dumps it in, and the West Stars head for the bench. Hugh Harris, Indianapolis Racers, number seven in the white. Loses the puck to Hedberg, gets it right back, gives to Serge Bernier. You imagine that Hugh uh, would, would like to have Serge Bernier as one of the centers on the Racers and uh, be looking to take some passes. I know he's got some fine ones, but Serge isn't too bad. One of the best. Stapleton goes in the corner. They're going to freeze it near the... No, they're not going to freeze it. Instead, it's going to be pulled loose by Bobby Hull. And Hull and Bobby Stapleton... Uh, Bobby Hull and Pat Stapleton come together. Former teammates. Buck is deflected wide. Harris behind the net. Ronnie Plum. Plum makes it look easy to the blue line. To Harris. Tries to flip it through. And we have a delayed offside indicated, but the West will bring it out. Paul Bofield. So the whistle does not blow. Alf Nilsson. In front! Hepburn didn't have it up. He was falling away, or he would have beaten Chi Chi on that one. Out front it comes. Hedberg again. In front! Nilsson scrambling, coming up for the puck, and he got behind the, the goal line now. Hedberg is there to help out. Puck goes to the far boards. And Serge Bernier breaks it out. He's got it. Mark Tardif and Kujay, rather Kujay down. He walks in. A shot, save, rebound. His turn back behind the net out front. Kujay! Oh, hey, oh, oh, what a goal! What, what a, a goal. play by John Hughes behind the net. Again, defenseman in on all the play. Popeil argues, Morrison argues, but the East leads 3-2. Hughes fed Kujay right on the post, and he flipped it home. Big play by John Hughes again. Hard-working defenseman from Cincinnati. Wait till you see that one. There's John Hughes. There's John Hughes who set it up. Lots of times you look at the goal and you forget the guy who made the assist. There's a big, big play by John Hughes from Cincinnati. Two minutes, three seconds to go to the mid-break in the third period. And if you're unfamiliar with World Hockey Association play, we'll tell you what we mean by the mid-break, Bob, next time we get a chance. Back to the action. Listen to this crowd. Do they enjoy this game? They're really getting their money's worth tonight and enjoying a lot of hockey. Look at Tarnum flying on the right side. He's in. His shot off a leg of Barry Wilkins goes wide. Play really picking up. Another play by John Hughes. Now they're going. Look at this. Look at that. Good game. Boom. Shot. Oh, big 
This one will not be icing. It comes on to Garrett. We're going to have a whistle. Let's take a look at that last goal by Riyad Kutje Bob. Here it is. All right, Serge Bernier comes in right in cold turkey on Rutledge. Rutledge with a big save. Now watch Wayne look behind him to see where it is. No, it's not there, Wayne. It's out in the corner. Blue Jays surrounds. It goes behind the net. Gives it to John Hughes. Now watch Hughes. The big play here. Right around the net, right on Blue Jays' stick, right off the post. Thank you very much, 3-2 to two East. Blue Jays' fourth goal in two All-Star games. But again, heads-up play by defenseman John Hughes and a pinpoint pass right on his stick, right where he could shoot it in the net. And uh, Jacques Tamer's happy? Oh, oh, he's chewing the gum again. He's chewing the gum tonight. And we're going to see Ron Fournier here get set to drop the puck. Hold everything, says Ron Harris comes over. I think he told Bobby Crom and Kevin Morrison, you think guys don't want to win this game? Look at the coach, Bobby Crom, and look at Kevin Morrison. They're both upset with Ron Harris. I'm not sure why. Uh, the puck in the net, it was 3-2. There's a shot for Tommy Abraham to the front, hit the post, rebound, score! George Miles! Oh, that'll bring him down here. That'll bring down the house. What a luck of the air now. And George Miles. What a shot from the point, though. That was the big play on the goal. Again. Allowed the rebound. That's right, again. Here's the face-off. Right back to the left point. Watch the shot hold. Big shot from the point. Rebound Daly, clears it out. Lyle smokes it right behind him, and it's 4-2. George Lyle, a rookie, his first goal. When did you hear this one? George Lyle! Well, now I guess that really makes the fans here in Hartford. Number 20, Mike. Rogers on the face-off, and Tommy Abrahamson, all Whalers. Two of them added to the squad after injuries. Tommy Abrahamson replacing reliable defenseman Ricky Lee, and Mike Rogers in to replace Dave Keon. All three Whalers on the play, and a beautiful, beautiful goal in Hartford. Hey, 35. Well, we said we thought it would open up, but when the Whalers scored, Bob, this place really went wild. Four to two East. And another one, they're firing now. They are really opening it up. We have a minute five to go to the mid-break, 11.05 to go in the hockey game. I wanted you to explain that mid-break in World Hockey Association play. Well, out of the international rules, uh, Bill will be switching ends. Both goaltenders will switch ends to the rink at the mid-break. But unlike regular season games, if this one should end in a tie, there will be no overtime. So we just hope... Uh, well, let's keep the good game going. We've had an excellent third period. When I saw Bobby Crom up off the bench, maybe there would be an overtime. They might get together and say, are you kidding me? We're going to go. Oh, down the middle goes Lyle again. Offside, though. Wouldn't... Had the glove up, but I think he was offside anyway. Right. Uh, the way Bobby Crom was up with Kevin Morrison with that last comment from Ron Harris, they may say, are you kidding? We play we're over play down all the way. Regular. We're going to play all the way. 53 seconds to go to the change of ends. Four to two, the East leads. Let's catch up on those last two goals very quickly. Cloutier at 7.57, Lyle at 8.35. Two lightning goals, just 38 seconds apart. Joe Daly. Again, defenseman set him up. It's been a defenseman's game so far, really. The goaltending and defenseman, John Hughes, set up the Cloutier goal, and uh, Tommy Abrahamson with a really big shot from the point set up Lyle. So Daly made a good save, but the rebound, he just couldn't find one right to Lyle, right to the net. And here we go again. This is Tommy Burke. Norm Ferguson chasing him. Tries to flip it in. Tommy A knocks it down. Sends Rogers away. Come on, Napier. Napier tries to waltz through. Schmier and uh, Bergman can't do it. Willie Lindstrom to Ferguson. Abrahamson knocks it away again. Paul Schmier has it. And Mike Rogers runs it to Paul Schmier. <laughs> That doesn't happen too much in the regular season, Bob. Well, much less it. in the All-Star. Here's a, a shot again from Schmier. It's tipped wide as the period's winding down. Let's see if this one's going to be icing. No icing. They wave it off. Ron Fournier in the lines. We're in the final 10 seconds of, of the first half of the third period with the East leading 4-2. to two. Andre Lacroix dumps it in. Garrett with the easy save. He's going to wheel it off to the side and get the ball. Oh! And Willie Lindstrom and Gordy Roberts. And Gordy Roberts collide, and that's Gordy Roberts being bucked in the net. Little Willie is a slight built fellow, Willie the Wisp. He hits you right pretty hard, I'll tell you. And uh, listen to this crowd at the halfway mark. Watch this play. Here's Garrett, uh, Bob, and he runs right into him right here. Hello. Better than some NFL action, you'll see. Oh, oh. And Gordy, I think, just lost his balance. He was all right. He was alive. I think he got his skate tangled up in the uh, netting. 
Wasn't really knocked down by the check, but got his uh, heel of his skate caught in uh, the meshing there and couldn't get out. Still four to two. This one's a long way from being over with that West firepower. Oh, it sure is. There you see it. The final ten minutes showing on the clock. Here's Richard Leduc, Cincinnati Stingers fine, fine hockey player. He's got Ralph Backstrom to his left. He's got Dennis Sobchuk to his right. Backstrom from the New England Whalers. Sobchuk from the Cincinnati Stingers. Oops, Willie forgot something as Lacroix dropped it back for him, and Dennis Sopchuk comes the other way. He fires one in, Spear clears after Daly knocked it down. The hitting that wasn't supposed to be there yeah. is there, Bill. Everybody working hard. Here's Andre, one on one. He's got Willie coming with him. Tried to put it through the legs of J.C. Tremblay. It always looks like he might have misplayed it, but he always gets a piece of the puck, and it goes wide. Tremblay. This is Schmier. In, whoops, Ferguson left the puck. Stapleton comes over to take it away from him. Lindstrom takes it away from Whitey. Lindstrom, hard work, drops it back. Intending for Lacroix, no dice. Tromley sends it ahead. Leduc, Leduc is in to Backstrom. Nope, couldn't get it through Schmier. Schmier to Lacroix, goes to Stapleton instead. Right side, Tromley. Ahead, Backstrom. Backstrom breaking. Schmier is there. Ralph Backstrom circles the net. Holds. Back to the point. Stapleton, a shot. Backstrom with a rebound. Behind the net as the... He squad puts on some pressure. Stapleton again from the point. Fires it. Knocked down Schmier. Ferguson, Lacroix walking in two on one with Willie the Wisp. And again, J.C. Crumbley. Up and down action. How about this hockey game? Walking right through. A foot by Leduc. Held by Daly. And it's still a 4 2 game with 8.35 to go. Bobby? Still been a great defenseman's game. Back J.C. Trombley breaking up a two on one break. Uh, Pat Stapleton made a big play a while ago, and we got the shot back from the point. Now watch this. Walking in two on one. J.C. Trombley breaks up Lacroix's pass as he tries to flip it over on the open wing. But J.C. is right back there. The veteran defenseman that he is, Willie Lindstrom, couldn't get the pass, and uh, J.C. started it out. There's Bobby Crom, who was upset at that third goal. He has to be even more upset with his Western squad trailing by the score of 4-2 to and 8.35 left to play. And there's Alan Glassbell, one of the linesmen tonight, uh, who has done an excellent job along with Ron Fournier and referee Ron Harris. Face-off coming to the left of Joe Daly. Little Robbie Fattori and little Michel, Michel Perezo. Here we are, back to the point, John Hughes. And quickly, though, broken up, Fattori. He's got Danny Lawson right. He's got the puck. He's in. He shoots. Save, Garrett. Not the tote, Mom. Put the glove up here. Hang on, he says. So your son wants to be a goaltender, does he? <laughs> John Garrett from the Birmingham Bulls. There's Robbie Fatorik of the Phoenix Roadrunners, always up among the league leading scorers and the highest scoring ever American player, American born player from uh, Massachusetts. He and Michelle Parazzo on the draw here, uh, as you mentioned, mention, uh, represent two of the little fellas in the league. And the East, Hugh Harris brings it out. Captain of the Indianapolis Racers. Dumps it in as he comes over the red line. Blair McDonald, his teammate, throws it out front. Nobody there. And back comes Danny Lawson. Second only to Bobby Hall. And goal scored in the WHA. Leaves for Fedoric. Return pass. He's in. Flips it back behind the net. Whoops. There was one of those that wasn't supposed to happen, too. As Ronnie Plum took Lawson back. Fedoric wheels it out to the point. Kevin Morrison is there. Can't get the shot. Tipped all in front by Lawson. Wide. Here down the middle in a hurry, and McDonald trying to beat the two defensemen, but Morrison takes it away. Back to Dell Hall, Robbie Fatorik, Plum, or uh, Hughes rather, broke it up. Hughes number 10 in white, Plum number 4 in white. Right side, Danny Lawson, he's in. Lawson trying to work it out front, can't do it. He'll scramble along the near boards, and Ron Harris blows the whistle. As we see the bodies getting untangled with 7.29 to go here, Bob, in the uh, hockey game, assuming there's not a tie. Four to two. We assume that it would be that way even if there's a tie, but when you mentioned that uh, Bobby Crom, I don't know. Who knows what might happen? Just but kidding, folks, really. It's no overtime. Been a super hockey game, and I think, as you mentioned, the fans have gotten their money's worth. Maybe not the, the high-scoring goal game. Uh, High scoring game that we expected, all the goals that we expected, but uh, we've seen an awful lot of good goaltending and a lot of uh, great play by the defense. Okay, we're back underway. This is Cloutier. He and his line mates from Quebec are out there, and they tried to get it to Mark Tardif, but Bobby Hall has it instead. Leaves for Nilsson. Look at him back and forth, crisscross Hall. Inside, Hedbear can't come up with it. Anders Hedbear. Serge Bernier kicked it, but it comes back to Paul Tavenci. 
Out front, knocked away. Two J breaks it out. Three on two. The classic move, the three on two, right side. This is Bernier. He can't come up with it. Barry Wilkins broke it up. Six minutes, 50 seconds to go in the hockey game. Oh, head bear set up right. Oh, do they ever out front? There it is. Missed the net. Bobby Hall couldn't handle it. And it's going to be cleared away. Head bear standing out front. And he's a tough one. He doesn't shoot him that wide very often, Bob. No, not very often from the slot like that. This is Tommy Abrahamson. Crisscrossing with Bernier. Nice pass back to Cloutier. His shot knocked down in front. Tardif in the corner. And are they going to... Nope, they're going to knock it loose. Tardif comes away with it. Tries to throw it out front. Can't do it. Barry Wilkins with a good play. Barry Wilkins, one of the uh, newcomers to WHA. And you really don't hear much about him from Edmonton, but he is a fine, fine defenseman. Showing it here tonight also. I'll tell you, you get Cloutier, Tardif, Bernier, and Tommy Abrahams and all the slick stick handlers out there at once, and it's like, uh, here it is, now you see it, now you don't. Meantime, though, Bobby Hull comes back, loses the puck as he goes over the east blue line. A little over five and a half minutes to go in the hockey game. Four to two, the east leads the west. Barry Wilkins at his own line. To Gordy Howe. Around one man. Over the line, throws it in the slot. Taken away, Mike Rogers. He's there with George Lyle. They crisscross. Leaves for Gordy Roberts. Inside, Mike Rogers to George Lyle. Tip wide. As Jacques Demers uh, getting the Whalers out and really getting the crowd excited, Bob. Yeah, it's good to play these guys together, and uh, they're used to each other, and it's got to help at this particular time with a piece leading by two. Well, Joe Norris gives Bobby Hull, walks in, quick shot, Garrett knocks another one away. I'll tell you, my vote right now for the uh, the tandem of Lavoisier and Garrett would be, uh, I don't know how they would share it, but they have just done an outstanding job. They're going to see about 50-some shots the way things are going here between the two of them. Play back in. This is Joe Norris. Taking away Mike Rogers. Gives it to Mark Napier, down behind the net it goes. Daly. Knocks it away from Lyle. This is Gordy Howe. Rogers after him. Norris takes it. Left. Tommy Bergman. Cam Connor. Buck comes back out to the neutral zone again. Paul Schmier waits. Tries to fire it in. Gordy Howe is offside, but it's a delayed call. He didn't touch the puck, and so J.C. Trombley can bring it out. He sends Napier down the right side. Loose puck in front. Lyle shot it over the net. Cam Connor spins Lyle around, loses his stick and glove, and says, I'm sorry, George, let me pick it up. <laughs> Fans, I think, might have thought that, uh, you know, in an ordinary game, that would indicate something else, but not tonight. And now Connor runs into Lyle again. They kind of smile at each other. Three minutes, 50 seconds to go in the hockey game. Long left wing pass, misses everybody. No icing. The linesman wave it off. Richard Ledoux. This circling. Normie Ferguson putting some pressure on there. Ralph Baxton couldn't handle it. It came to the point. Popeil gives to Morrison. Popeil from Houston. Morrison from San Diego. Andre Lacroix from San Diego. And he goes. Behind the back. Willie Lindstrom couldn't handle it because Dennis Sopchuk took it away. Good play by Dennis. Here they come again. Backstrom from the New England Whalers. Over the blue line. Whoops. Forgot everything. He and Ferguson run into each other. Backstrom still has the puck. Gives it to Willie Lindstrom. Right side, Lacroix is out. 17 minutes are gone in the third period. As Lacroix in the corner, throws it out. Backstrom is there. Here they come. Three on one. Ahead to uh, Leduc. Right side, saw Chuck. He's in. He shoots. Nice play, Bob Mobile. Rebound is loose in front. Knocked away. Back behind the net. Backstrom shoots it out. And Danny Lawson starts it the other way. Up and down action, Bob, as we had anticipated. And uh, only one penalty so far. One that absolutely had to be called. Lacroix comes out front. Knocked away by Richard LeDuc, and he starts it back. Morrison takes, turns it back. Everybody changing, uh, getting to the right side of the ice at least. Popeil, offside. Two minutes, 21 seconds to go, Bob. You know, we were Richard LeDuc there. Super play by Richard LeDuc. We were talking about the various teams in the WHA, and we should talk about the splendid buildings. You mentioned Birmingham. I mentioned Houston. 
all around this arena. Your home rink, the Indianapolis Racers, Market Square Arena. Just a fantastic building to watch ho uh, hockey game, basketball game. Everywhere you go, Cincinnati, Birmingham, you name them. The new buildings, the new stars. The WHA is on the, on the rapid increase, uh, Bill. Uh, contrary to what some folks might, might, might think, uh, the WHA's crowds are up. Uh, everything is going well in the league after the meetings here. And uh, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. It's four to two, and I'm going to head down and see who the most valuable player of the East is. Okay, Bob. We're coming up to the final two minutes, and uh, going the other way, Robbie Fatorik. He has Del Hall with him. Can't do anything. Fatorik stop. Top of the slot. Here it is from Da Vinci, kicked out by Garrett. Loose buck in the corner. Handled easily. Comes out to Terbenci again. Left side hall, minute 45 to go. Down behind the net. Whoops, Ron Plum overscaped it, skated it. Comes out front, knocked loose, pull away. Blair McDonald ahead to Hugh Harris. He bangs his stick on the ice. He didn't mean that. This one's going to be icing. Whoops. Some of the people didn't like that one. Uh, exactly a minute and a half to go in the hockey game. One minute, 30 seconds to go in the fifth annual World Hockey Association All-Star Game from the Hartford Civic Center. East All-Stars leading four to two. The scoring went this way early in the period, first period, or midway in the first period. Trombley for the East, then Schmier for the West tied it. Then Tarta for the East, put them ahead at 14.56. No scoring in the second period. Third period, we had... Uh, Lindstrom tie it, then Coutier and Lyle scored for the East, and that's the score with a minute and a half to go, four to two. Bob Lamy is on his way downstairs, and uh, we'll be talking with the most valuable player from the East Division All-Stars. Play is back in. We're into the final minute and a half of play. This is Ron Plum behind the net. It's these two teams really going at it, the West trying to get back one within one goal, and then... See what they can do about pulling the goaltender. Ronnie Plum, some heavy going. Plum still having trouble getting it out. We're into the final minute of the hockey game. There's the announcement. Left side, and it's out front for Blair McDonald. Save, Joe Daly. Just 49 seconds to go. There's the replay. Watch that one. Daly is right there. Forty-six seconds to go as play is winding down in the fifth annual All-Star game down the left side. Here's Anders Hedberg again. Whoops, fan on a shot. You don't see that. He gets it back out front and shot wide. As we come to the final 30 seconds of this All-Star game that has just provided a lot of excitement for the fans. We're watching Tommy Abrahamson. Whoops, somebody spins and falls down. Serge Bernier. 20 seconds to go. You'll want to stay with us for the uh, ceremonies that will follow the buzzer immediately. And you'll see the awards. Long right wing pass for Anders Hedberg. He's in. He shoots. Save John Garrett with seven seconds to go. Watch this play. Long cross ice pass. Here it is. Hedberg breaking in off wing. Right wing, left-handed shooter through the defenseman's leg. Garrett the save, and there is Chi-Chi. We're going to be hearing the announcement of the most valuable players very, very shortly. As the clock will wind down, the buck is on the ice. The crowd counts it down. There's a shot from Barry Hall at the buzzer goes wide, and it's all over. The fifth annual World Hockey Association All-Star Game is history. The winners are the East Division.
All Stars four, and the West All Stars two. And now, as the teams gather on the blue line, we're going to go down to the ice level for the presentation and announcement of tonight's most valuable players. Here's the announcer, Scott Rasmussen. Hockey Association All Star Game. The awards are to be presented by Mr. Marvin S. Loweth, the Senior Vice President of Connecticut General Life Insurance Company. The most valuable player from the West Division All-Stars, number 20, Willie Lindstrom. winning team is Mr. Larry Gordon, the Executive Vice President of the World Hockey Association. And the most valuable player for the East Division All-Stars, number 30, Lily Lavasseur.